Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and today I'm going to read for Tracy Walker. She had a great question. It'll probably be a short reading, but I'm going to explore whether or not Merrick Garland has been threatened by the Russians or any other foreign, uh, you know, money or power, actually, mafia type of influences uh, to leave the Trump investigations alone. So we'll see. <laughs> Okay, let me drop the camera down and I'll get started. Okay, so I'm using the Maybe Linamon. And I am aligning with the laws of love and truth. And asking the question, is Merrick Garland being threatened by the Russians? Or any other foreign entity? or anyone else, let's say, uh, to leave the Trump investigations alone. So we're looking at if Merrick Garland is being threatened in any way to leave Trump investigations alone. And I can always reshuffle and ask the question from a different angle, but let's, let's see what we get here. Because it might just, the spread might just give us, oops, both answers. Or both, because I'm kind of wondering, like, well, why is he leaving the investigations alone? So we'll see what comes through. If I have to ask again, I'll reshuffle and do that. Okay, there's 45. So Trump is here. Um, but honestly, I don't see, I don't see any threatening cards. You know what I mean? I don't have, I'm not seeing the, um, the fox. I'm not seeing the, uh, the lion, which is like, you know, bullying. I don't even have the bear for bullying. I don't have the snake. We have 45 here. This has to do with movement. Let me feel into this. Do any of these cards even make sense? Because if they don't make sense, then the answer is usually a no. I mean, that's how that's how it goes. When things don't make sense, it's like, uh, it, yeah, there's nothing to align with the question. But both of these cards are about movement. This has to do with news, changes and improvements, decisions. Decisions that are very important, that creates a change that Merrick Garland cares about. domestic news, domestic, yeah, domestic, important domestic, or depart, de important movement towards Trump. The tree has to do with branches, it could be branches of the government, but you know how Trump just like sucks all the life out of everything because that's what he does. You know, the psychopath that he is, it's always all about him. Loyalty that creates a sudden, sudden change because it nights up here to change. Karma for Trump. Um, I don't see anything that shows that he's being threatened, that Merrick Garland is being threatened. 
So let's ask it from a different way. Now I know I've done I know I've done a reading on Merrick Garland already, like why why he was withholding or what was it? Something about oh I can't remember. It's in there. But it didn't it didn't have anything to do with um Trump's investigation, I don't think. It had to do with some other information. I just can't remember what it was now. God, there's so many readings, you know. <laughs> but anyway, let's focus back here. Let's get clear on why did Merrick Garland, well, what was his decision to leave? And maybe I already answered it, and it's in that other video, but just in case, I'm going to make sure we've covered all our bases here. So why did Merrick Garland decide to leave uh, so far the investigations into Trump alone? You know, this this would include, oh yeah, you know what? It might be in the E. Jean Carroll video I did, but let, let's look. Let's let's dive in again if that's the case. E. Jean, not E. Jean Carroll. Merrick Garland. Why is why has so far Merrick Garland been leaving Trump investigations alone? Or maybe he's not, and he's, you know, things are just kind of hidden right now so that they can get all their information. So let's, let's look at whatever is the truth as to why Merrick Garland hasn't come out and said anything. Okay, well, so he's working on something. He's still working on something. The reason he's not saying anything, the reason he hasn't, um, let us know, the reason it's not out there, the reason he hasn't revealed is because He's still investigating. He's still working on it. And he's looking for the money. Um, or, it's, or he has teams that are doing that. Because he's under the burden of needing to be an independent organization out of, you know, he, he's, he's not any president's... Um, Uh, you know, DOJ. He's he has to be completely independent, independent of independent of uh, anything to do with these other investigations. I think I could be wrong about that. You guys, let me know. You know, set me straight if I'm wrong about you know, the legalities. And probably it's in one of. Uh, <laughs> Probably there's lots of information in one of uh, Glenn Kirshner's uh, videos about this, about Merrick Garland. I, I remember he did one where he was he was upset, uh, uh, you know, about uh, wondering what was he avoiding uh, by not looking into Trump. But what I'm getting here. The whip has to do with repetition. It has to do with working like repeatedly working on something. It's also actions to like get things done. The actions he's been taking has been to look into the money. He's following the money trail. And there's some, there could be some conflict around that that he has to be very careful about. Because I feel like this has to do with his loyalty to being independent an independent you know the DOJ being an independent entity and he's under the burden of you can't let news out he can't let the news come out and he has to just keep nurturing uh, you know his job as a domestic um, 
of course, of course they could work, you know, the DOJ can definitely work with other countries, but this has to do with the movement, domestic movement that he has to keep nurturing. I I just heard RICO charges. He's he's not showing that he's independently working. Oh, let me draw some more cards. I think he's working on RICO charges. I think, well, we know for sure that uh, that's what Cy Vance Jr. is doing. And Letitia James, and, you know, State of New York. Maybe that's what this is about, because this would be domestic. So the state, yeah. Oh, yeah, he has to stay independent of that, even. I think. I wish I knew more about law. Um, especially federal law. So, the, here's a burden... He has control over the resources. I, I don't think he's being threatened by any foreign influence because I haven't, I still haven't gotten one single foreign card in here yet. I never got the bear, never got the ship. There's this burden on domestic investigation or investigations that he has to be loyal to and independent of. And he can't let the news come out. He has to like sit on the news and make sure he's, he's under the responsibility. He has to, it's his cross to bear, you know. It, his cross to bear is to be independent and keep working diligently, looking for all the little, you know, details. He has to be, he has to be very sly and cunning. It can look like a hidden agenda, but he ha he has to do that. But he's still he's looking for the money that maybe has been changed ha has changed hands, uh, you know, domestically. Yeah, so it can't be that this could be a conflict of interest because the money that goes into the Department of Justice for certain investigations it has to be held accountable to very, I just heard, strict standards. So he has to be independent there. And he, he has to nurture that. Yeah, so why it appears that he's looking to keep, yeah, it, definitely. It's because of his responsibility why it seems that he's um, leaving Trump investigations alone. I don't think he is, actually. Right. He's got the... He's, he has the keys to make the changes. He has the... Um, the importance that the, the, the solutions can come in to make the changes that go to the, the heart of Trump and could be very dangerous. But he doesn't want to, he has to be very, very careful so as to not um, create a problem for any of those investigations. That's what it is. He's, he's staying back out of it. I think as much as he possibly can, but because he he has a um, he could have a very hidden agenda as to you know he wants so we get the forty five card again he wants Trump to um, he wants Trump to be held accountable yeah and he doesn't want to he can't risk he can't risk his honor he can't risk the the whole you know institution the the branches of all government until it's done. Until it's done. When everything's done, I, you know what, you guys, I feel like, well, let me reshuffle and ask, but I, I feel, I just get this feeling like that the shizzle is going to hit the fan and it's going to come down really hard and sudden on a lot of people all at once. 
like a big sting operation. So what's, what's going to happen in the future? I know I've asked this question so many times from many different angles, but let's, let's just check in again. These criminal investigations against Trump, how are they going and how will this um, play out and how long might it take? You know, if it takes as long as it takes, right? You know, I mean, like you, you want anybody with any brains wants to get the best result. And if that means you, it takes you a year longer than it should or, or than you want, it takes whatever it takes. You do the right thing to get the best outcome. So how is this all going to go down for Trump? There's a Russia card. Documents. Commitments. Transnational crime ring, maybe. Seduction, money. Okay. Worldwide web of the crime ring. I don't know why there would be, a, maybe that's Letitia James. Social media, they're watching. And then the man. I don't know why the people cards would come through. Worldwide crime ring, money that maybe that gets exchanged, um, the interactions with society, that's what it is. So forget about social media. Uh, could be that they're watching him on social media watching, they're still watching Trump. This could be Merrick Garland and Letitia James. And they're, they're following the money. He's, oh, that's what it is. He's waiting for more, or they're waiting for more uh, proof of money. He's watching social media and interactions of commitments of money from Russia and any other, uh, you know, people who are trying to protect their own self-interests. And he's waiting for documents. Yeah. Watching and waiting for documents to come through. And this will spread wide and far. And also this could be his intention and his commitment, yeah, it's his commitment. He's under, just like we had the um, the cross before over here. He's he's under. Merrick Garland is under, you know, the his commitment to his job. He has to do it the right way. He has to do it the right way, and it will be revealed. It will come out. Everything will come out. Everything will come out. Yeah, what's been hidden, obfuscation, subterfuge. Maybe some new things that come out. Uh, this could have to do for, with a sting operation. Wow. Okay, some new things from a, a sting operation. This has to do with our homeland. It will be revealed that our homeland, safety and security, safety bear over here, safety and security of our homeland, protection of our homeland was under this cloudy, you know, this just awful thing that we've gone through. So he, there's, yeah, there's, there's the safety of, 
of our homeland and social media. I think he's, I think they're rounding up. They're getting, oh yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. They're getting all the little guys first, all of the insurrectionists first, and they're gathering intel and they're watching and waiting for more documents and, and you know, this like ring of, of whoever these dark people were. And they're, again, new documents coming through. This could be even texts. Uh, I bet you Rudy's laptop and Rudy's eight, 18 devices uh, have been very uh, forthcoming. And they have all of that information, to, you know, to filter through. And that, that could definitely take some time. But there's a, a woman involved as, along with Merrick Garland who's helping that all come together. I think there's a big sting operation that's in the works. It could take some time. It's going to take time. But the this worldwide web of, uh, you know, crime ring, this crime ring, yeah, these thieves, these money laundering thieves, it, it's going to, yeah, a surprise is going to come through and, and it's all going to come out eventually. Eventually. But it could take quite some time. Even the, these, this card can be the hidden enemies. The mountain card is often hidden enemies. And these are the people who are very, very, very wealthy. And they, they get that way often, not always, of course, but often by stealing from other people. So something surprising eventually is going to come out. Yeah, and it's going to break everything wide open, especially, you know, financially. So we can look forward to, uh, as Sarah Kensingdor calls it, the transnational crime ring, the syndicate of the transnational crime ring. We can look forward to things breaking open. Maybe not all of it, but at least what Donald John Trump was connected to. And all those people connected to him. Yeah, it's just like I've always said, like, what, what, what an idiot to be, you know, involved with all the dirt he's been involved with. What an idiot to be a mob boss and then, a well, stupid mob boss, but to be a mob boss and then run for president <laughs> where all your dirt can be discovered, you know. See, but that's the thing. Uh, you guys know that. Evil is stupid. <laughs> evil is blind so okay well that's it i'm gonna get this uploaded thanks you guys take care bye